Hey guys, welcome back. We've got our bags packed, and we're going on an amazing journey today. Let's do this. Oh, the uncertainty. Long lines, security checkpoints, flying. Oh, we made it through. There's our plane. We're starting to board. This is called the jetway, did you know that? And on Dumb and Dumber when he says, fell off the jetway again. Well, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're getting on our first plane. Games begin. We are all the way in row 40. First plane ride down. Two more to go. Flying can be confusing. Look at all these flights you have to figure out. <laughs> we're that one right there. Driving breakfast. You good? Right. Did you get one too? Let's see what I got. Bagel. It's a bagel. A breakfast burrito. I'm not sure what the veggies were that they put on there. Like some kind of grilled onions or something? Heck. Some metal stuff shoved in a clay buffalo. Oh, how cool. What a great idea. Ceramic glaze decals found objects. The bison. That's weird. Oh, we get to go on a train. You want to go? Let's go. Let's go on it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold on really tight. These things go fast. Welcome aboard the plane train. Please hold on. The plane train. Here we go. You almost went flying. I thought you were kidding. No. These things boogie. Let's go Pancake City. Pancake City. Sounds good. Where's our next plane? Looks like a beautiful day in Georgia. We're in the city of Atlanta for a plane change. On our way to LA. Flight down. We're in Los Angeles. Man, that was an awesome flight. They had video screens on every seat. Got to watch all kinds of new movies, TV shows. It was amazing. It had everything. It was like, I don't know, it was like all new releases, everything. It was, it was amazing. So good, such a good flight. So we're flying out of Los Angeles to our final destination. And right now, we don't have seats together. The kids have seats literally by themselves. So I have to negotiate somebody to move their seat so that I can sit beside and hopefully hopefully we can work this out with someone. We made it! We got seats together. There was like tons of people coordinating this. It wasn't easy to do. Alright, so we got two and a half hours left on this almost six hour flight and I've got a surprise. Can Dale hear me? I don't think he can hear me. He's in TV land right now. The kids have never owned these, so here it is. Watch this. Watch this all go down. Dale, we have an iPod! So I got this surprise for you. Alright? We knew this plane ride was going to be long. So as an added bonus, we got your own green. Already got it preloaded with games and movies. We made it. Feels super excited. He's happy to be in Canada. We made it. We made it up to northern Canada. Uh, he said hi, dude. We got to, we got to get off first. We made it. We have landed in the beautiful Hawaii with our whole family. There's Roman. There's my mom. There's my dad in that minivan. <laughs> Such an amazingly easy flight. All I right. thought that was gonna be so much worse. Oh, look at that. In the car, on our way to our hotel. Look at this. What? You can drive down there. That looks fun. You should have brought the Xterra. I know. Check him out. What? I've never seen this snail in my life. Good morning, everyone. I could not. Edit last night, so it is the next day. We got in here at one o'clock Ohio time. We took the kids down by the pool and checked out the ocean. So it was like 2.30 Ohio time and couldn't edit. So we're just gonna keep this thing rolling through today. All right, well we are all sunblocked up and we are headed to the ocean. I got uh, my mask, snorkel fins, and uh, I'm ready. Let's go, let's go check this place out. Oh man, this place is beautiful. Lizard, you're a lizard. Oh, here's the ocean. Here's the ocean! I'm gonna check to see if there's any uh, coral life or fish under here. I'm gonna switch to the GoPro and uh, let's see what's underwater.
You going out? When will you be back? I don't know. Tomorrow? It's a wild kitty. Kitty kitty. Gonna have to catch you a tuna. Drop you off a whole fish. There's cats all over these islands. When I was in Cayman, there was cats everywhere and they had like all these foundations set up to give the cats food and stuff. Killing an apple for fuel. About to put on my wetsuit and get back in. By the way, my brother Roman's here too. Here comes the big one. What's up? What's up, What's up guys? I'm just standing up here. Like, look, look, look. They're You're building their fort and they gotta, they gotta protect their fort. I can build it. Wonder why it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah. All right, so for Christmas, Roman got me these awesome, like, basically they turn your hands into, like, frog feet. <laughs> it makes your hands, like, web. They're, like, light rubber. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go test them out, see how fast I can swim with them. Hey, look at this guy down here. He looks like he's about to swim to the other island out there. You seeing this? <laughs> you got this, Dale. <laughs> I don't think that's how you use them. That's not even how you do it, Dale. Stop. <laughs> I think he's figuring it out. He's cruising. Yeah, he's cruising. Dude, he's cruising with them, them fins and gloves. He's doing like 35. Just getting back. These freaking gloves are amazing. They're like flippers for your hands, fins for your hands. They are really amazing. They're dark fin gloves and I love them. At, when, I, when I'm surfing this week, if I can't catch a wave, I'm gonna put these babies on and I guarantee I'm gonna catch anything I go after because the second you put power on them hands, man, you are like gone. I, it felt like I was going really fast. I don't know how fast I was going, but man, I could really book it with these babies on. All right, breaking for lunch, and uh, we're gonna cut a real Hawaiian pineapple. All right, so we've eaten, and uh, I think we're gonna jump in a car and try to find some waves, some big waves. One of my main things I wanna see here is big waves, and I wanna boogie board in them, I wanna snorkel in them, I wanna try to surf in them. I think we're headed up, like, I don't know, maybe like a 15 minute drive, and checking out this supposed to be hot spot. So, here we go. <laughs> Get it, get it. Oh, yeah. Wow, look how far he's going. That's the dream right there. Next guy's going for it. <laughs> it said danger, hazardous, hazardous cliff area. Let's do it. Got my little wilderness explorer back here. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's like a beautiful moving blob of blue jello. All right, so. That definitely excites me. We need to go pick up a surfboard immediately. But I guess this spot's gonna be crazy tomorrow. They're saying like 12 to 16 foot waves tomorrow. So that'll be a sight to see. Oh, there's Roman's drone. Bye bye. We're on the trail with Adventure Dale. He's taking us up the mountaintop. He's prepared all his vitamins for proper hiking. But one misstep and it's off the cliff you go. <laughs> Find out what happens to Dale and Dale on the next episode of Cliff Falling. No fishing. Wow. Uh, right there? Oh. Trail is hazardous and dangerous. Be alert. Trees and branches may fall without warning. This place is awesome. Of course the sign says stay on the main trail and we're already off the main trail like, I don't know, 30 seconds later. Look at this tree. This is the tree I would pick to build my tree house in. Be like Jungle Book. You know, I came here pretty much strictly for the ocean and the water, but I'm wild at this environment. How can you not be? Look at the size of these leaves. They're humongous. You wanna talk about some ivy getting in a tree. That stuff is huge. Like we get little, like poison ivy and other ivies that climb our trees, but nothing like that. That like totally consumes the tree. That's actually some kind of cactus growing up in that tree. That's amazing. One small orange no way. No way, look at that. This coconut is actually becoming a tree. I have never seen that before. Grow big. 
grow strong. This is like one of them small plants you buy back home, but like in the wild and huge. I don't know if you can see that scale of it. It's gigantic. Wow, look how big this branch is. Goes all the way to here, all the way out. That's like 150 feet. I've never been in the jungle jungle, but this sure feels like jungle to me. I mean, minus the cut paths. Death trap hanging here. Just waiting to fall. I'm not walking under it. No sir, that thing's just hanging by a little vine. Hold it up, brah. This is gonna be awesome, dude. Two boards, uh, three boards. Dad rented one. This is gonna be oh amazing, God. dude. Heck yeah. <laughs> Matches my old truck. <laughs> yeah, it does. Should mount it on top. Maybe I will. First surfboard I've ever owned. There you go. Yeah. We bought the boards here and they're actually gonna come out, hook us up with surf lessons in the morning. So we're gonna do this thing. Ooh, look at this. Just getting back and uh, just picked up some Maui style potato chips. Let's try them. Wow, really salty. It's getting late, but still early kind of deal. So I'm gonna actually start editing. This is where I'm gonna end this video. Looks like I did get a little sun on my forehead and on my nose today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I felt off this whole video. Like, I don't know, just not in the groove of things. Kind of slow pace, I feel like. I don't know what's going on, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.